Hey guys, this is Veron from Seek of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today, we are back. <laughs> Not back back, but it's been a while. I am kind of back from the purgatory of not doing anything creative for the past month or two. Um, it is currently August 20, 2020 as of recording. I'm not sure if I'll be putting out this video right away because right now I do have another project that I want to put out first before this one. So whenever this video goes out, hey there, uh, to catch up to certain recent events or to put into context what has been happening right now, uh, my country, the Philippines, is still under quarantine to some extent. Uh, it's been five. Wait, when did it start? March, April, May, June, July. Oh, yeah, it's been five almost. Yeah, it's been pretty much five months since the quarantine started. The things that have happened recently, well, they said the the Beirut uh, tragedy of, uh, you know, uh, they had a big explosion there. So. But in the context when I'm recording this, it's around that time. But yeah, uh, that has nothing to do with with what we're talking about today. So I've been gone for a little bit, and I'm sure I'll talk about this in another video or something like that. And I did say that I will only post when I feel like posting, so that's pretty much what happened. I've had this footage or this drawing for a little bit now. I've had it edited for a little bit now, but I just didn't feel like editing it. And I, I felt kind of stuck in a rut kind of thing. I didn't want to do any drawing, any designing, any video ed editing whatsoever. I pretty much just played games all day <laughs> for like a month or two. And yeah, so I guess I needed that break and I suppose it's fine. Like A lot of people always say that if you feel like you need a break from doing something or from doing something creative, you should take it. Uh, granted that you don't take a break forever. And I'm happy that it, that the the break only lasted for a short while because I'm starting to feel a little bit, uh, how do you put this, antsy. Like I wanted to do something, but I couldn't bring myself to do something. And thankfully, the project that I took on recently actually did jumpstart my creative spark. So that's great. Uh, as I recorded this video, the last video I put out was the F Patient Order Okita, Alt Okita Alter Catalyst video. And even back then, I was already slightly struggling with, you know, pushing myself to video edit. Because it felt, you know, a little bit tedious sometimes. <laughs> I enjoy it. And I enjoy recording my process but you know sometimes you just get tired of doing it but hey let's actually talk about the video ah actually first since as I'm recording this you know the the certain pandemic is still going around I, I don't really know why I'm dancing around my words so I'm not monetized anyway but COVID's still happening around the world unfortunately some countries are getting second waves some countries are still in the big first wave like mine so i hope you guys are staying safe and keeping well i hope you guys and your family are healthy and you know despite the current times doing okay if you are currently in some form of dilemma or problem or you know not so good news i can only pray that you will be able to mount it soon and that everyone keeps safe so Again and again, please wear your mask, please wear face shields, please alcohol your hands and wash your hands in soap and water. Um, take all the extra care that you can take because getting hospitalized is not easy, it's not it's not cheap either. We don't hear, hear it as much in the news like anymore about what people are going through when they get hospitalized, but it still happens. So as much as possible, please be responsible that out of the way yeah I, I really can't help talking about it because you know it's still a very um it's still a reality to me that you know quarantine lockdown cases are rising etc so I, I try not to always talk about it in my videos but you know you can't help it when that's pretty much all you hear 
anyway <sighs> anyway <laughs> so today we are doing a character design of one of my characters or original characters i've had him for a very long time so this pretty much just more like a detail uh, reference sheet type of thing because i enjoy doing these kinds of things and it has really no purpose. I mean, I'm not doing any game. I'm not really in any role plays that I use it in. I'm not writing any kind of story. So it's just there. I just like designing clothes for my characters. Uh, to the point that I honestly want to do commissions for this because I really enjoy doing character designs. But we'll see where I end up with that. So this of Serial Nereitalus, I posted the character designing video uh, a year or two ago, I think. Uh, it's been a while. And it's only now that I started doing like these smaller detail reference things just for fun. And I really enjoyed it. This is supposed to be like really fast and easy kind of drawing, so no refined shading and highlights. You know, just a little bit, just to show a little bit of depth. But the line weight, the coloring style, they're meant to be unrefined and quick just to show how the cloth looks like, or how certain cuts, or how the back looks like, and stuff like that. And I really, really enjoyed it. I really should do more. I know this area. So I think I have another one or two characters that I have footage of that I have to edit still. And I have another one that's in sketch form, which I should turn into digital form soon. I also did another character design of... Actually, Three. I have like three that's in sketch form that I need to turn into an actual finished drawing. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we'll get to that eventually. I enjoy these, but they take such a long time to do usually, especially the more the full version where I draw the layers and stuff like that. So, so Serial is uh, well, he's a fantasy character. He. It's a character that's, that has wings. That's why I drew like a little note there that the, the, the back slits or pops open to allow wings to grow. So he's a character with wings. He is a guard slash military fantasy. I know that the aesthetic is somewhere in the middle of everything, but I really did enjoy how his design looked even when I first designed him, so I couldn't really. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't throw away that old design. And I made it slightly more practical. But yeah, he, he uses a lance of weapon, so I don't really draw it here. And his old design had like a ton of layers, like a vest, a strap here, this coat. Actually, the, the design hasn't changed that much since from, my, from when I designed him way back in college. I say you hit that. Well, it is pretty neat now. Anyway, uh, for my design, design him in college, it hasn't changed a lot. I've just changed a little bit, like, the texture of his clothing. I've modified some of the layers to be a bit more practical in actual use. And I've removed some of the more pointless details, I suppose. So, my dilemma is that I really want to learn how to do more quote-unquote detailed designs so that has a lot of trinkets, so that has a lot of this and that, but I also want my characters to be practical in the sense that they can move and do the things they're meant to do with the clothes, so maybe it's just because the characters that I am currently drawing are mostly battle-oriented, so doing something like intricate or bits and bobs -y doesn't really suit them. Maybe I should draw a character that actually doesn't fight so that they can have those bits and bobs and bags and potions hanging off them and stuff like that. Anyway, I'll get to that eventually. So, okay, for Serial, we're doing the back of his, well, outfit and the coat. We also are doing currently his bracelet. That's something that is a small little detail I wanted to keep. In the past, that was a metal bracelet with like a, I don't know what to call it, but it was like, it's painted with a design on it. This time around, I decided to make it like 
transparency. So it might be plastic, but you know, plastic isn't the thing in that setting. But maybe it's glass. A glass that somehow doesn't break. I don't know. Could be the glass. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's semi-transparent. It has these uh, designs in it. Now, I did also change the design. Though you don't see it that often in my other drawings, I think. But that used to be all curls and blah blah blah. But this time, I wanted to add more lines to make it look more interesting. And I'm also doing the belt holder for a sword. Yes, he does have a sword despite using a lance because I can't resist my characters knowing more than one weapon. So a lot of my characters are trained to use one or more weapon types. So Serial, in his case, he uses the lance as his main weapon, but he can also use a sword. Um, another one of my characters can use magic and Pretty much a sword, but more like a dagger. But we're not talking about him right now, so eh. <sighs> ice. I've always enjoyed drawing ice, and the thing is, I, I, I'm never consistent with them. Between the years that I draw a character's eyes, they always change, so hopefully, this makes it more consistent. <laughs> but at least the ice shape. At least the ice shape. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little babbling session of mine about this character. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully, I'll be able to do more in the future. So, if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like the channel, like the video if you did enjoy it. You can follow me on my social media, and I'll see you around. <laughs>